Hey, this is Saul Ravencraft, and I am here with McCall, the Queen of Rocks. We are looking forward to having her at Nature's Treasures for an exciting set of sessions. And uh, you are talking to us from uh, from where? Actually, I am in Cave Creek, Arizona right now at my favorite place at the Rare Earth Gallery. They are very big and amazing friends of mine. And I said, can I do it in this most absolutely gorgeous environment? They go, come on by. <laughs> I love it. That is a gorgeous chair you are enthroned Isn't upon it? there. I love it, Rose Quartz. You can't get better than a Rose Quartz heart chair. Absolutely. So um, you are new to me, and uh, I know a little bit about what you do, but uh, I'd love to, to hear it in your own words. What are you going to be doing at Nature's Treasures? Oh, so Nature's Treasure and I, uh, Karen, Amanda, Michael, and so many other beautiful beings, and it's just treasures. We've known each other for many, many years. And they know me because my, actually, my name is McCall, the Queen of Rocks. And I've actually brought in probably 20 to 30 of the largest rocks ever landed on the United States soil. Oh, my goodness. And I'm kind of known for that. I'm known for the grandioso pieces. And then I also have my own jewelry line at, that you will be seeing soon and beautiful, beautiful rocks. But what most people don't know, unless you really get to know me, is that I work with energy in a very direct way through, through working with creation. Um, I work in energy in, a, in, in an extremely special way. I'm very humbled um, in the way that I have direct access in which we could be speaking to others and I can give um, direction and guidance to those that are interested in shifting themselves to their higher heart, to their higher self, to becoming the best person that they are here in this lifetime. Right. So did uh, you have your connection with rocks first or this energy side or did they come together? Well, it's very interesting because I've always been one of those people that have been connected. Um, even as a young child, I became um, a person that people would come to and say, I know that I can talk to you. Do you mind sitting down with me? We're at the roller skating rink and I'm 13 years old. Right. I said, yes, come on, see, let me speak with you. Um, it's, it's, it's been that way all my life. Did I get in tune with that? No, I really didn't know that there was something special uh, until I got older and my stuff was in me and I had a lot of stuff to clear out and went through many different processes to uh, figure it out what it was and then help release that and then get the reconnection. We all have connection. It's the reconnection, the remembering uh, of that. And one of the paths that went to was being in the rock industry. I end up being awakened by many people saying, oh, your stomach hurt and do hands on healing. And I was like, what was that? I feel like I'm in a cloud. They're like, you will learn. And that was in my 20s. And then and so on and so on. I met beautiful healers along the way. I met beautiful people. And the crystals started to activate within me. And I got to feel the energy of the crystals. And then if from there, it's just magic. It's just everything happened in its right time. And I didn't force it. It just showed up. And, right. and it taught me that I had to show up. And sure. there we go. So they say that when the student is ready, the teacher appears. What kind of students, what kinds of people are going to benefit the most from connecting with you? Oh, um, that is a superb question. Those that are interested in really diving deep into who they are, into their higher heart. This is a, uh, a space that we create, a portal that we create that is created by spirit to help people heal the toughest wounds 
It helps people heal themselves so that they can grow to be a spiritual being and help humanity. It is a place and a space in which being is the most important part. We are here as a soul drop down in the body for a short period of time to learn, explore, grow, and burn karma. And if we have this understanding and we really work at that, that this is who we really are right now, we kind of get to see that all this stuff that's happening is happening for your awakening. It's happening for you to reconnect. All the not so great things are happening because if you're on a hammock in Mexico, you will not work on yourself. Right. Right. Well, McCall, I wish we had a lot more time, but that is all we have for right now. Uh, you have to come down to nature's treasures and meet her. Uh, I, I'm just with you virtually and I am absolutely feeling it. Thank you for spending the time with me. Thank you.